Welcome back my viewers and subscribers to Real Jamaican News where you get the Real Jamaican News unedited. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe so as soon as a new video drop, you are the first to be notified. So what's popping in the news today is the news that seven persons were shot and taken to the place of recovery and two did not make it and five is in serious condition. The persons who did not make it are 31 year old Marshall Gale, otherwise called Chi Chip and 23 year old Sherice Murray, otherwise called Cheyenne. So this occurred yesterday at 9 p.m. and this caused patrons to scatter and leave and hide and do all kind of things even though there are covid restrictions there are no gatherings and no parties but for some reason chi chip and cheyenne decide to be imperfect and keep their party imperfection and the name is just right for that party so there's a voice note circulating on social media where a patron is telling of his experience. So let's listen to this voice note and then we'll continue. One spirit just come to me and say, yo, move for yourself. I treat in the bar, I go. As I reach in the bar, dog, lean up on the stool, I don't got to play max. I hear, boo! So I have police on the bike, you see me? They both shot. I say, give yeah, me to myself, what do you mean, man, man? I hear, boom, boom! I look out the brother, I see a crowd that come, brother. Take you back, do this on the road, run through the bush. So that was the experience of one of the patrons at the party. No, it's not the first this has been happening at parties that has been kept in this restricted season. I say restricted season because we know that parties are prohibited parties are not allowed there's still a no gathering order but if you listen to the story of cheese chip and cheyenne you might believe that this gathering was justified because the reason that they give for the gathering is this the westmoreland police are investigating the murder of a couple in springfield who were killed during the alleged robbery of a fundraising event for a cancer patient. The deceased are 31-year-old Marshall Gale, otherwise known as Cheese Chips, and 23-year-old Sherris Murray, known as Cheyenne. All right, so it was a cancer fundraising party for Cheese Chips' brother. So it is said that around 8.30 p.m., six men entered the party well-armed. They approached the bar where Gail and Murray were located and shot them both before grabbing a bag of funds collected and fleeing. And as I said before, the event was organized by Marshall, aimed to raise funds for his brother who was diagnosed with cancer. So let me talk about the fact that they should not be having any kind of public gathering, any parties, any fundraising, any of those things in this COVID season. There shouldn't be any of that. I sympathize with the fact that it is for a cancer patient and it's a fundraising. But the gunmen did not care. And I'm going to say it's gunmen. The hit men did not care because this is clearly a hit. Believe it or not, it was not a robbery. This was a straight up hit. 
No one else was shot at the party. No one else was injured. Nothing else happened to anybody. So they know who their target was. Chi Chip and Cheyenne. This has been the MO, the mode of operation for all parties that were held during this COVID restriction period. Most parties that were held in Westmoreland, down those parishes, were always robbed and shoot up. This is not the first bikers party that was shoot up. One was shoot up already where patrons had to run and the video was circulating on social media where the guy just went up to the man and popped him. So this is not new. So if I'm an event coordinator and I live in Westmoreland, I would have to think twice about keeping a party, especially now if I don't have clean hands. I'm not saying Chi Chip and Cheyenne don't have clean hands, but this seems really, really, really suspect. This is a really, really suspicious act that the fact that they went there and they only target the coordinators or the, the coordinators of the party and none of the patrons were injured. Yes, you have patient, patrons scattering and running and trying to find a safe place to hide. But really, they were not in any danger because the gunmen knew their targets. They knew who they wanted. So I went on Chi Chip's Facebook profile and I find this quite interesting that he's a biker. He is one of those flashy men. He is one of those what you call hot man who is like to party and to live a lavish lifestyle so to speak so i was wondering if for some reason somehow somewhere he was involved in this illicit lottery scamming i'm not gonna say he's a gunman because gunman always seem to have them thing on cock and he was caught off guard most gunmen they don't leave their back open when you go to a place and you see a gunman his back is always against a wall and he's always, always on high alert. So I'm not gonna say that Chi Chip is a gunman. I don't believe he's a gunman. I'm going to allege now that maybe he's in the lottery business. And when you're in the lottery scamming business, you have to be loyal. You can't rob people them money. You can't shot no man a dollar. If you shot a man a dollar and a man there in yard are dead for hungry and when him look up the road, him see a keep lavish party. You might go think twice and come for you. So I think it's lottery scamming gone wrong. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Comment below if you think I am wrong. Now, let us look at Cheyenne Cherise. She is the mother. I'm not sure if it's two child or one child. I saw that um, Chi Chip has two children. But on Cheyenne's Facebook profile, I see that she has one child and she mentioned that her daughter's name was Serenity. So I don't know if she has two. Also, February 9th is her birthday. So she died three days before her birthday. So she didn't live to see her 24th birthday. And it is sad to die so young. It is sad, but the scamming game is a dog eat dog world, you know? That's not a, a world with any kind of loyalty. So my viewers and my subscribers, that is my two cents. That is my opinion. And it's all opinion. You know, none of it is facts. It's just my take on the whole matter. You can have a different outtake, but this is my take. Comment your feelings, your take in the comment section below. And remember, like share and subscribe and peace out see you in my next video keep on blooming